Now this here is a true story. And I know it's a true story because I heard like 10 different versions from 10 different guys, all of them swearing it's true. And when you get a story like that, well, you just know there's got to be some truth to it. Well, the way this story starts is a mystery. Nobody knows where the legendary raider named Atlas came from. Some say he was in the Great War, got hit right smack in the face with one of them big nukes, shrugged it off, and kept on going. Some say he just appeared out of thin air, like the wastes themselves conjuring him up. And some say he was the product of a night of unholy passion between a super mutant, a death claw, and Satan himself. Now most of you all know the later stories, how Atlas single-handedly took down that band of super mutants south of Boston. I heard he bit the head off the leader's dog. The head clean off. Or that time he took a group of five men, only five, downtown straight into a rival gang's territory and walked out with their leader's son just because the kid said some mean things about Atlas's mother. But the biggest story was that spot way north of Boston. Uh, what, what the hell was the name of it again? Doesn't matter, I, I guess because it ain't there no more. Uh, Andover. Andover, I think that was it. Somewhere up there. Anyway, this little shithole of a town was home to the Junkers. A gang that by most rights never should have lasted more than, like, a week. I don't know how they made it, but they survived. They got by somehow they got noticed. In particular, Atlas noticed the gang leader's woman, a blonde number named Hope. Atlas, they say, was smitten, in love from the moment he laid eyes on her. Hope, though, well, she didn't feel the same. 